Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Anya and in today's video I will be sharing with you some of my favourite lip colours to wear during autumn. I am well aware that autumn is soon over. I tend to wear the same lip colours all year round. I have a couple of favourites but there are a couple of colours in my collection that kind of scream autumn to me that I always bring out when the weather gets a bit colder. So I'm going to share some of those colours with you today. I have 19 lip products to talk about. I've tried to keep every everything currently available to purchase. I have three products that are not currently available but I have them, I always reach for them and I am pretty certain that you can find the colours in other brands or formulations because there is a lot of makeup in the world and I think you can find pretty much any colour lipstick if you just look at the right place. When it comes to the type of brands and formulations and stuff, my favourite liquid lipstick formulation is the NYX Off My Lip Creams. There is a lot of them in here because I have a lot of them. I have almost every single colour currently available, I'm missing three. And then I also have a lot of colours that used to be part of their existing range or that were limited edition in sets and stuff that they don't have anymore. I try to keep it to stuff that is available with the exception of three. They are the only kind of drugstore item in here along with one sleek liquid lipstick. Everything else is high end. Now there's only like six other lip colours that are high end here but I have some Lisa Eldridge lipsticks, some Fenty, Dose of Colours as well as Ermine Decay. I've split all of the colours into categories and I'm going to go through all of them I'm going to try and keep the video as brief as possible. I have swatched almost every single colour on my lips. There are a couple of dupes and I'm going to mention them and I haven't swatched both of the dupes so I will tell you what the differences and stuff are. I'm just going to go through them in the categories that I have them starting with browns. So brown lip colours are one of my favourites to wear. I like both light browns that would probably go on the, under the classification of nude but nude is very dependent on your skin colour. I am very pale so even kind of medium and light browns can look dark on me. I have one in here that I would probably class as a nude on me and it's the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade London. It's a very light brown with yellow undertones. When it comes to a nude nude I prefer something that is neutral with maybe a, just a touch of grey and pink. This is the entire opposite of that. It's very warm, it's very yellow, very kind of sandy which I love. I think it is just perfect and I tend to gravitate more towards warmer colours during the autumn. I don't really know why. I think that's kind of the theme with autumn makeup for a lot of people. Especially lip colours, they tend to go a bit warmer and wearing deeper lip colours as well tends to be more acceptable, at least in public. But this is one of my favourites. I do wear it all year round but it is just one of my go-to nudes during autumn. My next brown is the shade Leon, also from the Soft My Lip Cream range. And this one ends up a little bit deeper, still in kind of the border between nude and brown on me. It has a warm red undertone like the packaging would suggest. One of my favourite ways to wear this is to just apply it and blot it down so that it's not super intense and it does blend really nicely with my natural lip colour and it just becomes an easy lip colour to wear. Next up I have two that are very very similar to each other. They're not exact dupes. They are the NYX Soft My Lip Creams in the shade Berlin and Dubai. They are very very similar. I've only swatched one of them here and the colour I have swatched is the shade Dubai. Berlin is a little bit more red so Dubai is kind of a dark brown on me with a very neutral undertone and then Berlin leans a little bit more red. They are similar in depth, similar on the lips but one is more red and one is more neutral. Next up for my colours I have Cool Tones. Now the majority of these, all of them, are brown but with the first four they are more warm tone or yellow undertoned. These ones are more cool toned and they vary in kind of depths and stuff. The first one is the NYX Liquid Suede in the shade Soft Spoken. This one I really really like. It's very comfortable. Just looking at it in the tube and from the tube it does look like it would perhaps be a little bit more in the family of before we talked about earlier but when swatched next to the next ones coming it's actually kind of the middle ground it is more cool toned than the other browns but it still has some kind of red to it so it is very very wearable and very pretty and it's usually the one I tend to go to if I want something that is brown but not very cool or not very warm it's very nice in the middle this is the NYX Off My Lip Cream in the shade Toulouse this is more cool toned has a little bit more purple and grey in it not quite 
bright in the territory of grayish. I have one that is coming up that is very bright. It is a cool tone brown with a hint of kind of mauve. It is still notably brown. It is cool toned more so than soft spoken and I think it is very nice to wear when I'm going for a more cool toned look. My next two are also not exact dupes but they are very similar. So the one I have swatched is the NYX Soft Melt Cream in Los Angeles. It is very similar to Toulouse but it's a little bit less purple. This is interesting because the one I have it next to is the Urban Decay Lipstick in 1993 which is a cool toned brown. Very, very gorgeous. Looking at them, I didn't really think they were that close. But when I swatched them, what I discovered was that on me, this might vary on you depending on your skin tone. 1993 is essentially just a slightly darker version of Los Angeles. I really like both of them. I find that I can wear them pretty much interchangeably. All I have to do is just blot the Urban Decay lipstick a tiny bit and then it looks identical to Los Angeles, but they are a very similar cool toned brown. So I have been joined by one pooch. My next colour category is burnt oranges and oranges. I only have two burnt oranges and one kind of brighter orange, so I'm going to talk about them together. My first colour is a Fenty Mademoiselle lipstick in the shade Freckle Fiesta. This is my kind of dream burnt orange terracotta colour. I love it so much and I always reach for it. I reach for it a lot during the year, but the second like July is over, this lives in my shop, my stash and my makeup bag. I use it a lot. I also like using it as blush to create a more monochrome kind of autumnal look. Very, very gorgeous. Very comfortable formulation, very pigmented, but it has the kind of like a soft blur look on the lips. I love this so much. And if you're looking for kind of a burnt orange terracotta colour, that one is great. I then have a Dose of Colours liquid lipstick here. This is the Nima Tang collection from the Coral Lip Set. This is in the shade Zoe. On her, this is a beautiful, vibrant coral. On me, this is a very kind of bright burnt orange colour. It's a little bit brighter and more orange than Freckle Fiesta. I love the colour so much and this is my first dose of Colours Liquid Lipstick, so I didn't really know what to expect. I am picky with my liquid lipsticks because I have very dry lips. I don't want anything that's going to make me feel more dry and dry them out more. And this is just amazing. It is very comfortable. It dries very, very quickly, but not too quickly. It wears really well. I really, really like it. And my bright orange is this beautiful tube from Lisa Eldritch. This is the shade Velvet Morning, which does have some red to it, but it is the more orange red that I have. I have a couple more that are just straight orange, but they are not available anymore. My main one is Cruella from the Disney Designer and the Colourpop. Uh, collection. Well, the Disney villains and the Colourpop collection. But this is gorgeous. It has like a soft velvet look on the lips. It has like a velvet look on the tube as well. Really, really love the colour. Love the formulation and it is just perfect. It's the perfect orange or red orange depending on how you want to look at it. Next up on my categories is the largest one and this is my Wine and Deep berries. I love them so much. So to start with, I have another Lisa Eldridge lipstick. This is the shade Velvet Jazz. This is the one I'm wearing in the video. It's a deep red, but it manages to be very wearable and user-friendly. It's not too deep so that it looks super dramatic. You can still see clearly that it's a red and it just, I really like it. It's kind of the perfect deep red that isn't a black looking colour on me and it's just perfect. So the next colour is a sleek matte me ultra smooth matte lip cream. This is in the shade Vino Tinto and it is the hardest one in the bunch to work with. And it might just be because mine is a little bit old but this dries very quickly and because of that it can be a little bit hard to get it to look even on the lips. It can go patchy very quickly but it is a gorgeous deep red colour. Very very deep and I just, I love how it looks so much. It's very pretty. If you have this, I would probably recommend a lip liner underneath it, just to get like an even color. And in the pictures, it does look a little, a little bit patchy and like blotchy and uneven, but it is very comfortable still. So it just takes a little bit extra work. Next up, which are my last three products that are currently available. I have the Fenty Underdog Liquid Lipstick, and this is amazing. It is such a gorgeous, deep red with a hint of brown in it and I, I love this so much. It looks very very dark on me but I have been loving that recently. I've been wearing it a lot. It is very very close to the mixture of the NYX Soft Matte Creams 
in the shade Copenhagen and Transylvania. So Copenhagen is a color that I wear alone. It's a little bit more of a bright red berry. Transylvania is purple. It's a purple berry, but Transylvania is sheer. So I lay it Transylvania on top of Copenhagen to get a very nice deep purpley berry color that is almost identical to the Fenty one. Only swatch the Fenty, but know that the, they look the same. They look the same in swatches. So if this is a color that you've thought about but it's a bit too expensive you can check out the NYX ones and this is again super comfortable wears a really long time and is really great it does come off when eating a little bit but it's fine this probably has my favorite doe foot applicator of the bunch which is a kind of like seated chair I don't know how to explain it I tend to wipe off the excess before I apply it to my lips and I don't have to go back in I can do both of my lips with just one it's super pigmented very thin which makes it very comfortable and just amazing. Then on to my final three which I could not leave out. I was considering it because they are not available and they are three NYX soft matte lip creams. So in my purples category I have the shade Miami which is my favorite purple, one of my favorite lipsticks of all time. It's a purple but it's a little bit more of like a pinky purple compared to just like a royal purple which is a bit more blue and I love it so much. It looks amazing. I have a thing for this kind of purple along with kind of orange and auburn hair. It just looks amazing every time. I wish they could bring this color permanently in because I love it so much. It just, it is gorgeous. And my final category, they are two cool toned ones, but I have kind of kept them aside because they are available. And they are the shade Lisbon and Warsaw. Lisbon is what I think when I think of a greyish. It's deeper than Toulouse and Los Angeles, more grey, and just I really like it. It's a little bit different, but it's fun. It kind of looks a bit like rock, like a rock colour, because it is very grey, but it is also brown still, so it's just... It's a really nice greyish. And then also is a lavender grey, very light, the lightest of all of them. This is a little bit harder to apply because it is very, very light. And I apply this in a way that I don't want any of my natural lip color to show through. So this takes a couple of minutes to apply to ensure that I get it nice and even looking. It is very pigmented still, so I don't really have to go in multiple times and add layers. This is the only product I have that is this kind of lavender color. And I don't wear it too often, but this is a color that I do bring out at the end of autumn and into winter because I think it's a really nice transition shade in that period. So that was all of my favorite lipsticks for autumn. I do have more. I narrowed this list down from about 40 lipstick colors. I have more that I reach for, but they all kind of end up in this category. They are either browns, oranges, burnt oranges, purples, cool tone colors. You get the point. So I tried to pick the ones that were available if you want to check them out. I will leave the names of every product in the description box in the order that I talked about them in. So the colors from left to right is London, Lyon, Berlin, Dubai, Soft Spoken, Toulouse, Los Angeles, 1993, Freckle Fiesta, Zoe, Velvet Morning, Velvet Jazz, Vino Tinto, a layered combination of Copenhagen and Transylvania, Underdog, Miami, Warsaw, and Lisbon. Tell me what your favourite lip colour or combination or whatever is for autumn and also for winter because we are we're starting winter in a couple of days. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you again soon. Bye!